To start this activity, you must have a loom. The loom is the frame for your weaving. Ours will be a hula hoop. Our first step is to prep our loom. We will be using t-shirt strips to weave with. Count out 10 t-shirt strips. These will be our warp. The warp are the threads that run through the loom before you start to weave. I will start by taking one t-shirt strip and stretch it around the hula hoop like so. I will continue to do this with each of our t-shirt strips. To begin weaving, take two of your warps and pull them together. This is to create an odd number of warps, which benefits our over-under technique. Then, take a t-shirt strip and tie it to the warps. Make sure that you pull it down towards the center of your warps where they all um, intertwine. Then take your attached strip. This is called your weft. The weft are the threads used to create our web. The web is what will be our end product that we take off of our loom. So taking our weft, go under and over each warp. So the one that we were at we're going to go to our one to the right, and we're going to go over, and then this one, we're going to go under, and make sure that you don't pull it too tight, because the tighter you pull it, um, the more bowl-shaped your weaving will be, and our goal is to make it as flat as possible. So, the next one we go over. next one we go under and then over and under so you want to go back through and you want to double check that you're doing each warp in the correct pattern so make sure you stop and go back periodically and check your weaving um, you will continue this pattern until from the center out your weaving is seven to nine inches. All right, once you've come to a point where you've run out of t-shirt strip, you will attach another one, tying it in the same fashion that you did when you pulled your two warps together. So I take another t-shirt strip and I open it. I'm going to open this one and stick it through and open this one again and pull the tail through to attach another one and then I will I just went under so I'm going to go over and pull it and go under and then go over again and under and continue until I need to attach another t-shirt strip Once you are done weaving, lay your hula hoop flat on the ground. Take your scissors and cut each warp from the loom. Then tie off each warp to secure your weaving. So I will cut towards the hula hoop. And for this one, this is where my last um, weft came through. So I have to wait and I have to cut the, cut the one that the weft is on. So I will take this one and I will put it through the loop and then simply make a knot like that. Now for this one, you're going to take one, it doesn't matter which one, and stuff it back through your last weft and pull it out the bottom. 
then you will just tie it together and I would double knot it just like that so we're going to go to the next one we're going to cut it off so for this one you pull one up through and leave the other out the bottom and you double knot again and keep repeating so for this one we go back to the bottom and it should alternate just about every other one except for this next one is our double one so this one you just tie off in the double so since our next one is our double warp we're going to cut each of them off okay pull the tape apart and pull that off and then now you have four little strings so for this one you're going to bring two of them out the top just like you do with these other double knots and you leave two out the bottom and you tie them together in the same way you want to make sure that you double knot it. And you continue around your hula hoop. So this one you go under and double knot. And the next one you'll go over. So you have the option at the end of your weaving to trim these. It doesn't matter. You can leave them if you like them. If not, just trim them off. Just be careful that you don't cut your weaving open. So remember your pattern over under will be the same as you go around this for the most part. Besides your double warp and the last warp. cut them all at the same time or you can do it one at a time like I have been doing. we have our weaving.